So today we're going to tackle something known as German Expressionism. And I mean tackle it because it's very difficult. I don't know, I always find it hard to put myself back in history to a period and a time when um, things were pretty tough. Because as an American, we have it so easy. I mean, I've never lived where anything was bombed. You know, there's some very beautiful things, but then there's some also very difficult subjects to deal with. War, poverty, and people out of work, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, it's a painful thing and it's hard to get into. Lots of artists were wanting to and able to express themselves. And um, the Germans had a kind of a heritage and a history of being very good at this, getting this angst out. So what we have is in the early 20th century, a couple of movements um, of expressionism and um, it's all about feelings, it's all about emotions, it's all about expressing these kinds of intellectual, emotional, guttural feelings. They wanted us to do this rather than to imitate nature, rather than to, to be the camera. So you see exaggerated forms, you see heart-wrenching depictions of a human artist. The one that moves me the most is Meidner's self-portrait. You just know that that man is suffering. He's suffering, and what's not to suffer over when you think about what was happening in Germany? Kirchner. But this is an interesting painting. The first time I saw this, I thought, that is just creepy. There's something about this painting that is absolutely haunting. A lot of these artists suffered, and between the wars and what went on in everyday life, uh, a lot of them had a lot of trouble, and a lot of them had to go into service. So you can imagine some of these horrors, and these are artists. They're more sensitive. It's hard for them to go out and do these atrocities. So Mr. Kirchner had a nervous breakdown, and by the time he got out of the asylum and got back to life, he couldn't, he couldn't stand it. He just couldn't stand what he saw, what he felt, what the world had become, so he took his own life. So he's put in this asylum. Supposedly, the doctor's wife is coming to see him because there's nobody there to come see him. Everything Kirchner's done is to give us this angular claustrophobia. I've gone so far as to see when I looked into the pupils of her eyes, it looks like a little head and shoulders, a little bust. And I've gone so far around the bend, I think that that's reflection of Kirchner in her eyeballs. And you know he's suffering. You know that. And um, here's this wonderful lady who's trying to help. She's just trying to help.